All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. Welcome to another edition of Pass or Pull, the series on this channel where I try to give you guys all the relevant information you need to decide whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned dragon stones for an upcoming unit or on an upcoming banner. So in today's video, we're going to be focusing on the Fizz Beerus Dokkan Festival, which is starting on Global in about five days from now on June 4th. And of course, we're going to be going over his details, his super attack animations, his new category, and also his potential banner. All right, so if that sounds good to you, then let's jump right into it. Actually, before we jump into it, I want to give a big shout out to my boy Daffy from Pain Shop on Twitter for hooking me up with some very reasonable prices on my dragon stones. All right, so if you guys are looking to save a decent amount of money on your next dragon stone purchase for Beerus or to save for the five year anniversary, which is right around the corner, then make sure to hit him up on Twitter. Uh, just send him a direct message, you'll be good to go. And of course, you can find a link in my description down below. So, with all that, out of the way, let's jump right into it and take a look at what this Fizz Beerus actually does. So he's called Furious God of Destruction Beerus. His leader skill is Explosion of Anger, which is a new category of course, or Realm of Gods. Category key plus 3, HP plus 130%, and attack and defense plus 170%. His super attack, God of Destruction's Edict, raises attack, and this is a 30% attack increase for 99 turns or basically infinitely stacking and causes immense damage and greatly lowers defense which is a 50% defense debuff for 3 turns and his passive is defense plus 100% and then attack plus 150% when performing a super attack plus an additional attack and defense plus 70% within the same turn after receiving an attack and he randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres and attacks effective against all types when there is a realm of gods category enemy. His active skill is called retaliation and it gives him attack and defense plus 50% attacks effective against all types and attacks guaranteed to hit for one turn and can be activated when HP is 70% or less starting from the fourth turn from the start of battle once only. His links, Godly Power, Prodigies, Connoisseur, Innocence, Shocking Speed, Berserker, and Fierce Battle. Um, definitely some niche links in there, but it's pretty standard for a Beerus, so not too surprising overall. And categories are Realm of Gods, Movie Bosses, Siblings Bond, Worthy Rivals, Bond of Master and Disciple, and Explosion of Anger. So there's the Beerus right there. Uh, I gotta say, he is a very, very good unit. Alright, this Fizz Beerus hits really hard. He can tank very well, and um, I mean, there's not really much bad about him. The only thing I would say is his links are, you know, not the greatest. He doesn't have to prepare for battle, which is a bit of an issue. Uh, Shocking Speed is, of course, a good key link, but prepare for battle is much more common. Um, Connoisseur, you know, very niche. Prodigy is very niche, so yeah, only his link set is the only thing I might like complain about a little bit, but otherwise, he has a great passive. He has an amazing active skill, um, great leader skill obviously, infinitely stacking attack so he gets more and more powerful as the fight goes on. Uh, not much bad you can say about this Beerus, and the thing about his passive is that it's actually crazier than it seems on paper because of the way it's calculated. So as you can see here, his additional defense plus 70% is calculated separately for a total boost of 240% defense after being attacked, and his active skill is also calculated separately for a total boost of attack plus 380% and defense plus 410% when all conditions are met, in addition of course to also having attacks being effective against all types. So 380% attack is basically what you, can, what you can get after taking an attack and also using the active skill, and then he gets attacks effective against all types, so he's gonna be just, he's gonna be doing so much damage. He's going to be hitting super, super hard under those conditions and also getting 410% defense. So his defense is going to be sky high as well. So uh, like I said, guys, just an amazing, amazing unit overall. Definitely a unit that I will be going for and hopefully getting at least one copy because 
I definitely want to, you know, put him to the test in some of the harder events in this game, and I'm sure he'll perform very well, you know? So there's the Beerus right there. And before we jump over to the category, as well as the STR Whis that's coming with him, let's take a look at these animations on the official Dokkan Twitter page. So I'm going to just shut up for a second, you guys enjoy, and then we'll talk about it after, okay? So here we go, we're going to start with the Whis animation first, and then it's going to show us the Beerus animations, okay? So here we go. So here's the Whis. And his animations are... It's okay. It's not bad. But nothing special, in my opinion. Yeah, so Whis is like okay, you know, like nothing crazy, but Beerus' animations, in my opinion, are top tier, man. Like, you know, we're getting a lot of great animations these days, so maybe it doesn't seem as special as it did when it first came out on JP. But I would still put his animations in like the top 10 of TUR animations. Um, it looks awesome. It looks amazing. And of course, animations, I know, are, are like a big point of consideration for a lot of people when they're trying to decide whether or not they want to summon for a unit so that's why i made sure to show you guys these animations to help you you know decide right so there is the animations the first one of course was the active skill with the voice line now let's move on to the explosion of anger category which like i said is the new category that uh, Beerus is bringing to the game and the description for this category is that it consists of characters who unleashed all of their anger Now there are definitely some units out there um, That should probably be in the category that are included But I'm not gonna get into that in this video because that's a whole different topic for like its own separate video So I'm just I'm just gonna show you what, like the units that are in here and uh, You know you guys can decide for yourselves whether or not you know there's some units that are being omitted for one reason or another, right? So we have the Beerus right here. We have the Gohan, which of course makes a lot of sense. We have the AGL Gohan and the Int Gohan, and also Tech Broly, Inter Rose, STR Broly, AGL Bardock, uh, Zamasu, AGL Broly. I'm just pointing out like kind of like the highlights here. Uh, we have the Tech Zamasu, Tech Beerus. I think every Beerus actually is in this category. Uh, of course, the Namek Goku. Um, and also the other Broly's here, the Fizz Broly from the, the original Fizz Broly, and then the DBS Fizz Broly, Full Power Frieza, of course. Um, actually, one one unit that I think a lot of people complain about that is not included here. Where is the LR Full Power Frieza? Like, why is the Fizz Full Power Frieza here, the EZA one, but the LR Full Power Frieza? is nowhere to be seen like how does that make any sense anyways that's just one example of the many complaints that people have about categories in general but uh yeah so there's the explosion of anger category it's not a bad category overall it's, it's decent but realm of gods is definitely you know the main i think category that people are going to be pulling from as far as running him as a leader and now let's move on to the str weiss who is going to be the new non dokkan fest unit that's coming with the Beerus on his banner. And this dude is actually quite insane. Like he's amazing for a non toe confess unit. His leader skill is Bond of Master and Disciple, key plus three, HP, attack, and defense plus 120%. His super attack causes supreme damage and lowers attack and defense, which is a 20% debuff for three turns and seals super attack. His passive is attack and defense plus 100%, great chance of a fading enemy's attack, including super attack, and that's a 70% chance to dodge, and an additional defense plus 50% with each attack evaded within the same turn. So he's going to be dodging a lot because he gets a 70% uh, dodge chance, right? But he's also building defense in the same turn with each attack evaded. So eventually, if he gets hit in that turn, He's going to be still pretty much untouchable. He's still going to be taking very little damage because he's built up so much defense 
with the dodges, right? So from a defensive standpoint, this dude is one of the best units in, in the game. Like he's very, very good on defense. And he also gives all allies attack plus 50% and recovers 10% HP at the end of the turn when there's an ally whose name includes Beerus, but Weerus excluded attacking in the same turn. I'm not really sure why they specifically said Weerus is excluded because it clearly says that the name has to have Beerus and Weerus I know is part Beerus but it's still a different name so it's kind of random. But anyways, uh, there's the passive right there. He is amazing defensively. He's going to do some damage. He gets attack plus you know, 100%, but he also is a support, right? He also gives the rotation 50% additional attack and also heals you for 10% HP when you have a Beerus on the rotation attacking. So this dude just does everything, man. He heals, he defends, he supports, he does some damage, he seals, he lowers attack and defense too, which can be super helpful on events where uh, the enemy hits really hard. Um, he's just an amazing overall unit, man. There's like... <laughs> There are very few non dokkan Fest units that are, at, are as good as this, this Whis right here. So definitely uh, would love to pick him up as well on the banner if I you know get lucky. But uh, there's the Whis guys. And oh, real quick, Link Skills, Godly Power, Cold Judgment, Connoisseur, Gentleman, Talking Speed, Rival Duo, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Realm of God, Siblings Bond, and Bond of Master and Disciple. Let's move on to the banner here. And this, of course, was the JP banner, but typically these days they don't change much between JP and Global releases. So I'm gonna assume that Global will be getting the exact same banner as well. So this banner, as far as Dokkan Fest banners go, like regular Dokkan Fest banners, of course, not including like dual Dokkan Fest and anniversaries, anything like that, is really good. It's one of the best non-major celebration Dokkan Fest banners. We have seen in a long time. We got the Whis, who we just saw is absolutely insane. We got the Beerus, who is amazing as well. And then we have one of the best TURs, if not still the best TUR in the game. Actually, no, that's Fizz Vegito Blue. But this guy, in my opinion, the second best TUR in the game, the STR Transforming Cooler, is returning to global for the first time ever on this banner. We have the STR Namek Goku, who you guys know is fantastic as well. And then we have Transforming Vegeta, who has been featured quite a bit, but still a great unit. And then Super Saiyan Blue Kakin Goku and Tech Beerus here as the uh, they're kind of like throw-in SSRs. But if you guys don't have them, they're still amazing too. It's just they're pretty old and a lot of people do have them you know, with a couple dupes or a rainbow, right? So not as exciting, but overall, the value on this banner is quite good. And... Um, I mean, if it wasn't for the fact that we had the, or we have the five year anniversary literally right around the corner, I would actually recommend everybody to, you know, do a couple of multis on this banner because it is pretty decent value. But um, that being said, I do have to remind everybody that the five year anniversary is literally a month away, guys. And I mean, when you talk about value for stones, like those are the best banners we've ever seen for how much value you can potentially get for your stones because each of those banners has three Dokkan Fest LRs as well as some of the other, you know, best units in the game like AGL Zamasu, Tech Trunks, um, AGL Gogeta, Fizz Broly, just like really, really amazing units on both banners. So it's kind of hard to recommend people to spend on this banner. But what I will say is that if you guys really want the Beerus or really want the Whis or don't have Cooler, don't have uh, Namek Goku, it might be worth to drop a couple of multis, like two or three. See if you get lucky. And if you don't get lucky and you still want the Cooler or the Namek Goku, then you do have the option to spend your red coins to get them because who knows when the next time you know Namek Goku or STR Cooler are going to be featured on Global again right so if you don't want to wait buy them with your coins after you know trying a couple multis see if you get lucky but for the most part this is probably going to be a skip for most people and I, I get it um, if you guys don't don't know if you haven't watched one of these videos before usually I don't give like a concrete recommendation because I use these um, videos to give you information, right? I use the animations and the, the details and the banners. We talk about them so that you guys can make that 
decision for yourselves. What I will say is that I personally will be summoning, but I definitely will not be going as crazy as I have been for these previous banners where I've spent like over a thousand stones, 1500 stones for each banner. For this one, I'm probably just doing one video, like 300 stones and calling it a day because I do need to save for the five year anniversary as well. So I think that should definitely still be everybody's pr priority. That should still be um, what you keep most of your stones for. But if you want the Beerus, you want the cooler, you want the Namek Goku, a couple of multis probably won't hurt too much. So that's my recommendation, guys. You can summon, not the worst thing you could do, but definitely still save most of your stones for the upcoming five year anniversary banners. All right, so there you go guys, that is today's video. Hope you guys learned something or at least made up your mind about what you wanna do with this banner through watching the video. And uh, that's pretty much all I gotta say guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are planning to summon on this banner. If so, how many stones do you plan to spend or are you gonna be completely skipping and saving all of your stones? For the five year anniversary. I think either way you can't really go wrong. The only way you can go wrong is if you spend all your stones on this banner, which would be a pretty bad idea considering, like I said, we're so close to the anniversary. So I would say don't do that, but a couple of multis probably can't hurt. So that's the video guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it as always. If you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.